Hello and welcome into an episode of The Pantry. Thank you so much for joining me today. We continue our adventures in Omokant's Omori. So you and I, let's jump right into it. We are back at Fairway Park. All right, let's see what is going on with this tree because I see it moving. Oh, wait. Hmm, looks like Aubrey isn't here. You think she jitted off? Oh wait, I knew you. Your name is Charlie, right? I see you hanging around with Aubrey sometimes. You know where she is? Charlie's like, I don't know where she went. You know, Charlie, I can tell you're not really the mean type of person. Aubrey took something important from Basil and we need to get it back. Is there any way you can help us? Oh, the tree's shaking. Oh, is that uh, is that someone that we know? <laughs> he has the the the, the greaser style haircut. Who, what, and where now? What did you do that for? Ah, well, if it isn't Kale and the other weird knife guy, <laughs> is the is that our reputation in this town? The guy who wields the knife. We're the adversaries for the great and mighty angel. I wonder if they exist in the other world, like who are their representations? Finally, it's time for you to meet your doom. Angel, we don't have time for this. We just want to find Aubrey. Do you know where she is? You seek Aubrey, do you? Interesting. I will tell you what I know. But first, you must best me in battle. <laughs> but battle But I, I, I don't want to punch a kid. <gasps> Kel is different here. I wonder if you are based on Pluto then, or if Pluto is based on you. You won't be able to lay a finger on me. Come on. Let's sick him, Charlie. Charlie's like, I don't want to be involved in this. I just showed where you are. <laughs> Charlie's like, okay. Oh, whoa. Charlie is huge. Oh, wait. Are you based on the, 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 the two with the tether ball? Ah. I mean, it's interesting that they're fighting out the out in like out in the open. Charlie's just like, yeah, uh, okay. Well, my my beef is with the uh, with Angel here. So, oh yeah, I like how his design of his shirt uh, had like the the angel wings. I wonder if you're dead, huh? You surprised me, Kel. You'd make a worthy rival for my master. Who's your master? <gasps> oh no! You can actually make him feel sad. I didn't mean that. I have a bad feeling about what's going to happen here. Ooh, that's still a lot of damage. You, you'll pay for this. You, 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 you asked for the, the, the attack. You asked for the battle. I like how Charlie's like, I'm not involved. But he's huge. How could this be? My training was all for nothing. <laughs> oh, my head hurts. You're the one who started it. Okay, Angel, it's time to be serious now. We beat you in, Charlie, to tell us where Aubrey is. Hmm. A promise is a promise, I suppose. I will honor my word and tell you what I know. You don't know where she is, is don't you? The truth is, Aubrey is somewhere in Faraway Town. Thank you, number one. Thank you for the information. Um, it was good to meet you. But you could have just said that earlier in the beginning, so you wasted my time. Thank you so much. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Probably! <laughs> you don't even know where she is. Dang it, Angel. You better not be messing around or else. I told you I'd tell you what I know. And the truth is, I don't know anything. <laughs> so we're back to square one. Thank you so much. Angel, you better tell us where she is now, or else I'll tell everyone about the time you wet your bed at the summer camp. He's like, no, 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 whoa, 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 you can't do that. That's cheating. <laughs> that's cheating uh, coming out at me and attacking me and then accusing me of being a bully that's not cheating but me mentioning the fact that you went your bed in summer camp is cheating uh, anyway I, re I really don't know maybe you can ask my master the maverick he's the keeper of all knowledge he told me that himself the maverick oh no you mean that weird kid Mikhail? <laughs> so the, the the things that we see are based on what I assume to be the people in the playground. Don't you dare call him by that name. He would take great offense to that. <laughs> Kel's like, I see. 
So, it's him. Where can I find him? Mika- I mean, the Maverick. <laughs> I'll tell you what I know. But you'll have to fight me first. Or I can tell everyone about that time you- uh, Okay, fine. I'll talk. I like how Charlie is absorbing that information and doesn't blackmail Angel. So there has to be like a relationship there. Like they're friends or something. They're really good friends. Okay, fine. I'll talk. Master went to the fountain at the Fairway Plaza. He said he was going to meet some girls there for a date or something. A date? Uh, disgusting. <laughs> Come on, Mochi. Let's go to Fairway Plaza. I think we're done here. Can I go to Gino's Pizza maybe? Orange flavored coffee? I've had like carbonated coffee, but orange flavored coffee? I mean, I don't judge, Kel. It's what you like. It's what you like. One eighth of a whole pizza. I mean, nothing to be more true about one eighth of a whole pizza. <laughs> Let me tell you a story. I was walking back from Fix It after making a purchase with my hard earned money. When I looked down and lo and behold, my brand new garden shears are missing. Yes, it's true. My garden shears torn a hole, opened my plastic bag. Oh, how silly I felt just then. Do you think you could help me find them? They should be somewhere around here. Uh, sure. If I could find your garden stuff, uh, do you think they could be in the trash? Ah, garden shears, right there. You found garden shears. All right, lady, here are your garden shears. Can I have some money? You gave garden shears to the red glasses lady. Ah, thank you, boys. I'll be sure to never make such a silly mistake ever again. It's rare to see young boys willing to help a stranger these days. Please feel free to come by my house anytime. You will always be welcome. Aw, thank you, red glasses lady. Uh, but we're children. And you're inviting us to your house. You wanna go? Well, let's go. Let's go, let's go to the house. Let's see what, what let's see what possible thing there could be in here. Oh! <gasps> look at this house. Look, it looks really nice. You look at a nice, cozy fireplace. A lot of books. Okay, I like what I'm seeing. Hello, red glasses lady. You have a lot of bonsai trees. Snip, snip. Snip, snip, snip. Ah, hi there, you two. I didn't expect you so soon. <laughs> I feel like the game was like, oh, I, I guess you wanted to visit my house already. Okay, look here. Caring for these bonsai is a hobby of mine. It helps me relieve stress. After this, I'm going to start preparing my dinner for my children, Kim and Vance, tonight. They better not be late again, or else. Snip, 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 snip. Uh, what does that mean? All right. Well, uh, red glasses lady, I'm not going to uh, bother you while you're trimming your bonsai there. I'll explore your house some other time, but goodness me. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry to impose, but you look like trustworthy people. Do you think you can help me? I need to pick up my I need to pick up this week's medication at the pharmacy, but I'm feeling a bit weak at the moment. I usually send my daughter Charlene, but she's not here right now. Would you be so kind to pick it up for me? Yeah, okay, I'll pick it up for you. Thank you, children. Just talk to the man at the pharmacy. He'll understand. You got prescription and ID card. You gave us your ID card? You're trusting two children to walk around with your ID card at the pharmacy? This must be an interesting small town. All right. I mean, I guess everybody knows together in a small town. Oh no. All right. All right. Let's 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 get your prescription, lady. Hey, lady. I think if I'm right, it's at the other end. Hmm, hello, how can I help you? You gave the prescription card and ID to the pharmacist. Ah, you're here to pick up some medication. Oh, I know who this is for. I'll bring it right out. At least he knows, right? You got Granny's medicine. Thank you, young sir. I'm not actually supposed to give out medication like this, but I usually make an exception for her since she doesn't have a way to come here herself. Thanks for helping her out. You kids have a nice day. If you ever need bandages or first aid kits, I've got you covered here. Oh, okay. And then I told him, it's not Maverick. It's the Maverick. Oh, the Maverick, you're so funny. Oh, wow, wow, wow. What an amazing story, the Maverick. Girls, girls, please, there's enough for me to go around. Ugh. <laughs> Mikhail, what are you doing? Ah. Well, if it isn't Kel, my arch nemesis. <laughs> I like the hair flip. He's like, finally, here to admit defeat, are you? I don't have time for this, Mikel. We're looking for Aubrey. Have you seen her around? Uh, stop calling me that. I cast away that name a long time ago. Mikel, do you know where she is or not? Again with that godforsaken name. I, the Maverick, will not stand for this. Prepare to face your doom. Watch this, ladies. I'll wipe the floor with this loser. Oh no, are you really gonna fight me again? Please, Mikhail. Don't do this to yourself. I'm gonna ask one more time. Fight me, you wad. Don't be a chicken. <laughs> are we really gonna do this? 
Okay then. Come on, Mochi. Let's take him down. I don't have my knife though. You keep wanting. Mikhail has like the, the the wireless headphones. Oh, Kel, you pitiful fool. You don't stand a chance against the Maverick. <laughs> oh, I like your cast of characters here. All right, here we go. Are you, are you healed at least? Can I give you a slice of pizza to, you know? The pizza slice was hot and covered in cheese. You wish you had more. Oh, thank you. All right. Hmm, not bad. But this fight's just getting started. All right, Kel. Here's your... Kel, who loves Orange Joe? Kel loves Orange Joe. Oh, you're, you are out of time. Ooh, that's not good. That's not... The orange juice and coffee combination created a questionable flavor. <laughs> As expected of my rival. But I must tell you, while you were fooling around and playing sports, I was honing my technique just for this moment. You'll never reach my level of skill. You're going down, Kel. I think you are, yeah, because he's now toast. Okay, so you were able to give him... You were able to, to, to bring him down? Ha! Huh, that's all you've got? I've only been using 10% of my power. Behold, my final form! <laughs> You're just really just taking down my attack, though. I bet you're regretting your decision now. I'm just way too cool for you. You're nothing but a loser. Is, is that, the, is that the, the way you're attacking me, just through insults? Okay, so he's usually- he's take oh no, Kel! He's toast! Or, he's now dizzy. It's only... a matter of time before you tie yourselves out. My victory is imminent. Uh, I- I hope not. Ooh, that's gonna be bad for us. I'll admit, I'm impressed. But you're still light years away from defeating me. I am light years away from defeating you because I feel like I'm going to take a lot of damage. Yeah. We're toast. Wait, I won? I mean, as expected. Ha ha ha. Fear me for I am the Maverick. You were a formidable opponent, Kel. But it's time to finish you off once and for all. People of Earth. Lend me your strength. <laughs> He's doing Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Ew, what's with this guy? He's so lame. This isn't worth $10. Let's get out of here. <gasps> He was paying them ten dollars? Oh no. Mikhail. <laughs> ladies, please come back. I have more money. <laughs> now could you tell us where Aubrey is? Mikhail, there is no one here by that name. In a, in a way, we won by losing in this situation, I guess. Please, I'll never ask you for anything again in my life. Just tell us where Aubrey is, and we'll go. Okay, fine. I do happen to know where she is, and I'll tell you on one condition. You must call me by my true name. The Mava. <laughs> Let's go find Kim. She probably knows where Aubrey is. Her and Vance are major sugarheads, so I have a hunch they're probably somewhere near candy. Wherever there's candy, maybe he... Oh, in the sweet section, right? There's a sweet section here. Not, not the janitor's closet, but here, because I remember visiting this prior. Hurry, Vance, let's shove it in our pockets before someone sees us. Hey, your mother is the one that I helped with the bonsai. You need you need an appetite when you get home, or she's gonna snip, 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 snip. Hey, Kim. <laughs> Have you seen Aubrey anywhere? He's like, I, I didn't take any candy. Shoot, it's that nerd, Kel. Come on, Vance, we gotta go. <laughs> Whoa, hold on there. I don't think you paid for those. Get out of my way, nerd. You don't know me. Hey, hey, hold on. I'm not here to snitch. We just need to find Aubrey. You know where she is? Uh, uh, Aubrey? Uh, I don't know anything about that. Uh, and even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. <laughs> <sighs> I've had enough of this for today. Kim, let's make a deal. You tell me where Aubrey is and I won't turn you in for stealing all that candy. I thought you said you weren't a snitch. And I don't need to be if you just tell me where Aubrey is. You two again? I thought I told you to never come back in here. Smiley, smiley. <laughs> Hand over the stolen candy. Don't make me call the cops on you kids. Smiley, smiley. <laughs> oh, you are a threatening uh, uh, individual, Miss Candace. We've been busted. Fine. 
Here's your stupid candy. Come on, Vance. Let's get out of this dump. See, you could have just walked around before instead of staying around. Did you buy candy? I thought you didn't have any money. Sorry for the holdup. Let's go catch Kim and Vance. <laughs> Sorry, Vance. No candy today. No, not again. I don't know how much longer I can last. We're going to die. <laughs> you also don't look like a kid with the mustache right there. You know, like, I've never seen, like, a kid with, like, a five o'clock shadow. Uh, <laughs> let's just go home. We're going to be late for dinner. Wait, Kim. I have something for you. What do you want? You again, Cal? What the heck do you want, you bully? Tell us where Aubrey is, and I will give you this whole bag of candy. I don't... I, I wouldn't... I, I wouldn't uh, deny an offer like that. R really? The whole bag? I mean, wait. You can't buy us off with candy. Who do you take us for? Kim and Vance. I don't know, Kim. We haven't had candy for an entire week, and there's a whole bag right in front of us. We don't even have to pay for it. Can you at least ask if he has taffy in there? <laughs> I like Vance's condition. Is like, is there taffy? I'll take it. If there's taffy, I'll bring this candy. I'll take it. Candy. Stop it, Vance. We have to stay strong. When we go to Dad's house, we'll be able to have all the candy we want. Okay. I'll do it for you, sis. Kim? Vance? I'm waiting. Heh. Like we'd accept the candy from a bunch of nerds. Aw, oh, man, really? I was sure that would work. This is a waste of time. Let's get out of here. Please, Kim, you're the only lead we got. Please take this bag of candy. We, we even have Taffy in here. Did someone say Taffy? <laughs> I see. That changes everything. <laughs> I like that the whole drama here is about the kid, Vance, who wants this Taffy. And then Kim is like, okay. Yeah. You, you, you got us there. Fine. You really want to know that badly, huh? Let's settle this with our fists. If you win, I'll tell you where Hubbry is. But if we win, you give us that bag of taffy and we'll never talk to us again. I mean, I just healed. Wait a second, there's no need to fight. If you just tell me where she is, I'll give you this whole bag. Why are we always fighting as kids? But, but I want to fight. Come on, put them up, you two. It, it's time to duke it out. <sighs> What's with you guys in fighting? See? Kel understands. I didn't agree. I didn't think I would agree with Kel in this situation, but at least Kel has some sense to be like, I don't want to fight you. But it's like, why is everyone in this town fighting? Why? Well, I guess we have no choice. Come on, Mochi. You know the drill. Put him up. If you give me back the knife. Yeah, there is no way in hell that's a kid with a five o'clock shadow, a devilish haircut, and a cigarette, which I'm assuming is to be a candy cigarette. Cause he looks like he has like pixie sticks in there. He's like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna fight you too. You know, like he, he looks like, <laughs> he looks like the type of person in the playground to go, yeah, see, I see that kid over there. I know where he's been getting his lunch money from. I'm gonna steal it from him. And he has like the torn sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a bookie. He's like, you should look his figures. Like, yeah, I don't know anything about that. Yeah. I'll show you that size isn't everything. I'm not about to lose to nerds like you. All right, Kim. Uh, you look like you're the leader of the group. So if I divide and conquer, maybe if I take out Vance. Vance only takes seven damage? Okay, what if we take out the ringleader herself? Because Vance doesn't seem like the type of person to continue without Kim. Your face annoys me. Made me feel sad. You're still nerds. She's done. All right, Vance, it's time for you to attack. Oh, I could have just raised the encouragement. I'm feeling more sad. All right, well, I guess I'm gonna just attack you. But I also need to heal, so I'm going to go for a toy. I like how a toy became a bandage, when before snacks used to be just the one thing. Ouch, that hurts. <laughs> really? For a guy like you? He even has chest hair! Dang. All I wanted was some taffy. <laughs> All he really wanted was taffy. I can't believe we lost. We can never let Aubrey know about this. <laughs> oh? Come on, Kim. We gotta go home. It's almost time for dinner, and Mom's gonna be really mad if we're late. Shoot, let's get out of here. Hey, the information! The information! 
Wait, where do you think you're going? We won, so you need to tell us where Aubrey is. Oh, yeah, that's right. You don't know where she is, don't you? Aubrey's at the church. The one near the house. Huh? Aubrey's at church? Hey, don't look at me. You're the one who wanted to know. Also, if she asks who told you, tell her it wasn't me. Say it was Mikkel or something. <laughs> the Maverick? Come on, Kim. We gotta scoot. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Let's go. Smell you later. Nerds. We can't really imagine Aubrey at church, but I'll believe it when I see it. Alright, let's go. Mikkel, the Maverick. Give Granny medicine and ID card to Yellow Bun Granny. Oh, well, I also needed to fight some kids, so um, there's that. That's why I'm here. But I'm glad that I'm back, though. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you so much. You've been a big help. It's nice to see youth helping out old folks today. You're all welcome to my house anytime. All right. I mean, I'd like to go visit. I like in this game that even if you lose a fight, it doesn't end the, the game right there. Like, it doesn't say game over or anything, like in the real world. But in the fictional world, I like that it says, you know, like when the game over, you had to go back again and do a boss fight, like when we lost that one time. So it's kind of like interesting way to to um, showcase what's like real and what's not. I like that. I like, I like that sort of kind of thing. Well, here we are. This really is the last place I would expect her. I'm kind of skeptical, actually. It might be a trap. I'll open the door and take a peek. Hmm, looks normal to me. I think they're in the middle of a sermon. Oh, there she is on the right. Hmm, she's just sitting there. All normal. So weird. Yeah, I feel pretty bad about interrupting this. We should probably wait until the sermon's over or something. I mean, we want to go in, right? I like how... This church is huge. Even on the outside, it doesn't appear to be. Whoa, I didn't expect you to just walk in like that, Mochi. Well, there's no turning back now. Come on, we have to be really quiet. Aubrey. Psst. Aubrey. What the... What the heck are you guys doing here? We want you to give back Basil's photo album. You're still on about that? That's none of your business. Really? None of my business? We all used to be best friends, but now that's none of my business? I like how they keep bringing up that, that same kind of like feature. Like, hey, we used to be best friends. Like, what happened to you? Yeah, Kel. Exactly. We used to be friends. What happened? I want to know. It's like the intrigue of like what happened between them and like the fictional world or like the other world versus this world, right? You know, Mari would be really sad to hear that. <laughs> really? You really want to bring Mari into this? Who cares what Mari thinks? Mari's dead. <gasps> you mean my older sister Mari is dead? Aubrey, seriously? What's wrong with you? I get that you have new friends now, but you can't just forget your old friends like that. My old friends? My old friends weren't there for me when I needed them. So that's what this is all about? When Mari passed on, we were all dealing with our own stuff. We were kids. It was hard. You think it's so simple? I I, I appreciate the fact that this is all happening in like in the church. Like they're they're quietly, but also bringing out so much of their emotions out that it's loud in this situation. It's it's a really good like composition for the scene. You think it's so simple? You've always been simple, Kel. So what if I am? I'd rather be simple than be like you. How could you do that to Basil? You know how important his photo album is to him? It's important to all of us. I'm the one keeping it safe. What are you talking about? That photo album belongs to Basil, and I'm not leaving until you agree to give it back. You're so persistent. When Mari died, you moved on so fast. You know why I come here every week? Even after all this time, I'm still trying to find some peace. But it doesn't look like that's happening today. We haven't talked in four years, Kel. A lot changes in four years. You and Mochi think you can barge into my life and tell me what to do? Don't be so naive. You might look different and act different, Aubrey. But you're still the same person. The Aubrey you knew was long gone. And the Aubrey that was your friend? She's long gone, too. Okay, fine. I get that you're angry. Look, if it's an apology you want here, 
I'm sorry, okay? I should have been there for you when we lost Mari. How did Mari die? No, I won't accept this. Wait, where are you going? I can't let you go until you promise me you'll give Basil his photo album back, you thief. Wait, what's happening? Basil? Isn't it the boy who... I've seen Aubrey and her friends bullying, but now she steals as well? <gasps> she has a reputation in this town. Oops. You think you're a good guy, don't you, Kel? And I'm the big bad bully, here to terrorize poor defenseless Basil? You're the one hanging with the psychopath who carries around a knife. Now's not the time to do this, Aubrey. You don't get to say that. You're the one who barged in here. I already said I was sorry for everything. If you want me to be the bully, then I'll be a bully. You two better come at me quick, or I'll come at you first. We're fighting in church? Oh, Aubrey, I don't want to do this to you. Ooh, that's a lot of damage against both of you. Look at her clothing. It's completely inappropriate for church. Wait, I don't want to do that to Aubrey. Why are you here? Oh no! He blacked out. I can't believe she would bring a weapon in here. How uncivilized. What do these delinquents think they're doing? This is a place of worship. Serves you right, Kel. Now, leave me alone. Oh no! Ever since her father left, she's so uncontrollable. Disrespectful. I feel bad for her mother. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that, Aubrey. Shoot, I know she's been kind of messed up lately, but I still feel sorry for her. Maybe this is a bad idea. You think? Well, there's no going back. Is she gonna throw away the photo album? Did you see that? Aubrey just dumped something in the trash can. Let's go check it out. There's no response. Is it the photo album? Whoa, I don't believe it. It's Basil's photo album. I can't believe she would just throw it out like that. It's a good thing we looked through this trash can. But on the bright side, at least we have Basil's photo album now, and it only took us half the day too. Talk about teamwork. How about a high five, Mochi? Yeah, I can give you a high five. Let's give it back to Basil before it gets dark. He'll be so happy when he sees it. Oh, I really want to resolve this friendship tension. Because I feel like, you know, I feel like, uh, I feel like they made good friends. And I feel sad because of it. Knock, knock. Basil. What about Kel, Mochi, and, and, uh, oh. Oh, hello there. Who are you? Uh, hi, Basil. Oh, wait. You're not Basil. I'm sorry, my name is Polly. I'm Basil's caretaker. Oh, hey, Kel. Uh, what is it? Hi, Basil. You got your photo album back. You did? Wow. Thank you. Basil, you didn't tell me you had friends coming over. Would you like to join us for dinner? I always seem to cook just a little too much. Dinner? Sure, sounds delicious. Come on, Mochi. Free dinner. Basil's like, uh, okay, I guess. Something is weird here like with their friendship and everything. Wow, it's been a while since I've been in here. You definitely have a lot more plants than you used to. <laughs> yeah, I like them a lot. Actually, there are some that are still alive from when you guys came here more often. Wow, you sure are dedicated. Yep, that's Basil for you. Flowers and photos. Oh, that reminds me. Now that you got your photo album back, we can all go through the photos together. That's, uh, I, I don't know. It's been a while since you've looked through them, hasn't it? Come on, it'll be fun. Um, sure, okay. Is it me playing the violin in, in, the, in like a Christmas special? No. <laughs> Just Kel being Kel. So many party hats. My first photo. It's my best friend Mochi trying out his new violin. He's starting to take lessons again so he can play at recitals with his sister Mari. <gasps> so exciting. We're back from the park, but Kel is still full of energy. 
He challenged Hero to an arm wrestling match, but we all know who's going to win. Is it, uh, is it Hero he win? Please go easy on him, Hero. Kel was still feeling a little sour about losing to Hero in arm wrestling last night, so Hero decided to lean in for a smooch. Oh, brotherly love. Kel looks so annoyed. Ah, brotherly love. See? <laughs> Me showing Mochi a book I've been reading. Mari stole my camera and took this when I was paying attention. <gasps> when we were all kids. Aww. Even had like the little egg thing. It's all of us cuddling with Mochi's stuffed animals. Mochi's like, uh. He has so many and they're all so soft. I wish I could just lay here forever. Mari's teaching everyone to make flower crowns. <gasps> here Mochi and Kells are holding up Mari's example. It looks perfect, doesn't it? Now that you know the context of what happened here, Mari is dead? If only Mari thought so. Aubrey won't let Kel under the umbrella, but Kel seems to be taking it just fine. He says he likes how the rain tastes. <laughs> I like that the memories of our childhood are being told through these photos, but there's so much that we don't know what happened in their friendship. You know, like what happened after Mari, what really happened between Kel, and, and how they just moved on or how they moved on. We went to Hobbies, but the shop owner told Kel to leave his jacket outside since Kel was getting all his comics wet. Sorry, shopkeep. <laughs> it's been pretty busy with school lately, but we finally made time to get together and go to the park today. Here's Kel hanging off his legs off a tree. He's such a good climber. I wish I was fearless as him. It's the first day of summer vacation, so we all wanted to celebrate by going to the beach. Watermelon is Aubrey's favorite. Hmm. <laughs> it's me on, on, on like the, the sand. We buried Mochi in the sand. It took forever, but he still looks like he's enjoying himself. I wonder if he's going to need help getting out. I guess I'll keep him company until then. It's, it's the first day of school today. Me, Mochi, Kel, and Aubrey are up bright and early. Aubrey is so photogenic. Goodbye, Summer. Until next year. Oh, so stuff. The things are gone. Oh man, it looks like a lot of photos are still missing. Maybe Aubrey kept them for herself. We'll have to get those back later. On the bright side, look how short I was. <laughs> I've, I know I've grown at least a foot since Hero left for college. I can't wait till he comes back. This year, I'll finally be taller than my brother. <laughs> anyway, don't sweat about the missing photos, Basil. Me and Mochi will take care of things for you. Just focus on getting back to your happy, carefree self. Okay, thank you. I'll try. Sorry about the wait. Dinner is taking longer than I thought. Would any of you boys like to help? Yeah, sure, I'll help. I got some experience helping my brother cook and stuff. Oh yeah, that would be lovely. Please follow me. The kitchen is this way. Aww. Oh, hi, Mochi. It's nice to finally see you again. <laughs> Why are you staring at me like that? Um, Moji? Is everything okay? Um, a white egret orchid. In the language of flowers, it symbolizes the phrase, My thoughts will follow you into your dreams. Oh, Mochi, I didn't expect to see you in here. <laughs> How are you doing, Mochi? Is everything okay with you? Okay, N never mind then. Grandma can't hear us, you know. She hasn't been feeling very well lately. Here, take my photo album. I want you to have it. I'm trusting it with you, okay? I just think you can probably use it more than me. Basil gave you his photo album. A lot has happened since these pictures were taken. Sometimes it feels like it was all a bad dream. It's hard to remember now, but I think, at the time, I took photos of what I was most afraid to lose. Flipping through this album, you can still see the good times. Maybe one day, things can go back to the way they were before. Mochi! Basil! Dinner's ready! Okay, coming. I wonder why Basil needs a caretaker. Like, it's really, it's really... There's something that's been happening here, and I'm, I'm afraid that something might happen to Basil. Everything tastes so good. You're the best, Polly. Oh, it's nothing. I just followed Grandma's recipes. Thanks for your help, Kel. So I was saying before, Polly, tomorrow... My older brother, Heroes, is finally coming back from college. Mom's all crazy right now, preparing the house and everything. I don't want to be anywhere near that mess. Although, I'm pretty excited to see him. Every time he comes back, the first thing we do is compare heights. This year is the year that I'm finally going to be taller than him. I can feel it in my bones. <laughs> you and your brother seem close. That's good. Family's important. <laughs>
Oh, hey, what you do with Basil's photo album there, Mochi? Oh, I, uh, I gave it to him. I just thought he should have it. Whoa, really? That's so cool of you. Makes sense. Especially since Mochi's moving away and all. What? Mochi's moving? Oh, yeah. I thought I already mentioned it. I must have forgot. He's moving in three days, I think. Sorry, I thought you already knew. Oh, um, no, I guess I must have missed it. Sorry, uh, may I be excused? I, um, have to go to the bathroom. Wait, why? Can I follow you? What's up with him? Well, that's just how it is. When you gotta go, you gotta go. Uh... That's not good. Everything is gonna be okay. 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 Oh, it's you. Uchi. You're here. I'm so glad. You can see it too, can't you? Something behind you. Mochi? Why? Why do you look so scared? Wait. Please, Mochi, don't leave me. Not again. I didn't leave you. What? Oh, hey, Mochi. I think it's about time we went home. It's way past my curfew. Wait, I want to see if you can stay in the bathroom with Basil. So yeah. Anyway, Polly, if you ever need me, here's my address. I live just down the block. Thanks, Kill. You're sweet. <laughs> oh, it's nothing. Say goodbye to Basil for me. Hey, Mochi. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Sorry for all the trouble. That was a pretty crazy adventure, huh? I can tell you haven't talked to anyone in a while, but that's okay. It, did, it just takes practice. Anyway, Hero's coming back from college tomorrow, so I'm sure he'll want to see you before you leave. So if you don't mind, I'll be coming back for you again in the morning. Good night, Mochi. Sweet dreams. Aw, goodbye, Cal. What the hell is that? Uh, excuse me? What the hell is with the, the, the red door? The knife again. It's the damn knife! Why do I always have a damn... I don't like that. I did not like that at all. Is no one else living in this house but me or something? There's like spiders. I like the effect of the spider like silk, you know, like the spider like webs because it looks like tiny. Oh, that's really cool. Like right in front of the camera and everything. <gasps> nice. Something's up. What's that? Ah, creepy spider things. All right, creepy spider things. Are we going to fight? Let's just get on with this. No, I have to make it through. We are not going to lose. You can do this. You can do this, Mochi. You can do this. You can't be scared. You have to go. It's a long flight of stairs, I know. Are you Mari? What the hell was that? I left the entire day and all the spiders invaded my house. It's time to- You again. We have to breathe. We have to breathe. Okay. But why do you exist is my question with a weird something. Ooh, you bit me. This is getting nowhere fast, huh, Mochi? It seems like there's a lot going on. You need to block out the little things and figure out what's important. You clear your mind and remember how to focus. Oh, okay. Breathe in and out and focus. Hey, Mochi, it's Mommy. How you doing? 
Are you eating well? I was hoping that I could make it back to see you today, but it was the last day of a big furniture sale and I just can't resist a good bargain. You can take care of yourself for a few days, right? After all, you're a big boy now. Remember to finish your chores before I get back. I left a list on the table next to your door. Okay, that's it for now. Mommy loves you. Bye, honey. Bzz. No new messages. Table lamp. Oh, there's a to-do list. Mommy's to-do list. You don't feel like doing chores right now. A very comfortable bed. Would you like to sleep in it? Yeah. There's like a little white outline. Interesting. Now we're going back to the other world, aren't we? So there's Basil and Omori. And now Basil is gone. Is this like what the like the outcome of Mari's death? Why did his shadow just wake up going? Okay. Omori, welcome back! See, hero, I told you not to worry. Omori always shows up when we need him. So is this like your memories? Uh, we were worried about you. Now that you're here, let's go out and look for Basil. He's counting on us. Be patient, Kel. You have to make sure Omori's okay first. Or maybe you and Hero can go yourselves. Come on, Omori. Let's go exploring together. <laughs> Just the two of us. Hey, you can't leave me out of this. He's right, Aubrey. We have to do this together as a team. You never know when you need someone's help. We're stronger when we work together. Hmm. Omori and I will be fine on our own. You protect me, won't you, Omori? Oh. I really do wonder what what their their you know childhood was like. Ew, gross. Get a broom. Come on, Aubrey. It's time to get serious now. Let's go tell Mari that Amari's okay, okay? Oh, Mari's dead. <laughs> you know, she was always worrying about him. Okay, okay, fine. I was just trying to have a little fun. Aww. I really hope we can get back the band together. Going out, Amari? Here's your allowance for today. 750 clams. That's quite a lot. Thank you. All right, so let's go to the picnic area. Ooh, there's something new over there. There's uh, there's the two, right? The two that we fought, uh, Kim and Vance. Hi, Mari. Amori is here. Amori. Aww. Stop disappearing like that. You know my heart can't take it. So there's still no sign of Basil. Where could he be? Hmm, we're not sure. We've been looking for him everywhere and still nothing. <sighs> I hope Basil's okay. I miss him so much. Yeah, I miss hearing him talk and all that stuff he was into. Like all the flower stuff, and the photo stuff, and the art stuff, and the reading stuff. <laughs> my hair is so tangly. I miss it when Basil used to brush my hair. Amori, will you brush it for me? Well, I miss when Basil used to remind me of to wash my hands. Look, they're so dirty. Ew, Kel. Kel, you should probably wash your hands anyway. <laughs> Everyone, I know it's tough right now, but we have to stay positive. We should all try to be like Basil. Even when Basil is upset, he always manages to smile. I, I wonder if this whole scenario that's happening in a different world right now is supposed to represent um, that time within that four years. Uh, maybe it'll give some context clues as to what happened. So, is there anywhere you haven't checked yet? Well... There's a forest west of the stump, but it's gross and full of spiders. Ah, ugh, spiders. Well, you know what that means. Once again, it's time for you to face your fears, little brother. And that means you too, hero. Come on, big bro, you can't back out now. It's just like how it is with Omori. We're here to support you all the way. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I'm just being silly. Don't worry, guys. If anyone or anything tries to hurt you, I'll smash it out of the way. You can count on it. 
And don't forget about me. I'll always be here to help you. <gasps> this, this scene has a different emotional context now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do it together. Let's go to the forest west of the stump. Lead the way, Omori. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of The Pantry. And my goodness, we finally found out a little information as to what happened between our friend group and what caused it to like tear apart. I still feel like there's like information out there that can explain what happened to Audrey, what happened to Basil, um, and why, you know, that rift happened in the first place. There is some time that happened between that event and when Amori gets out or when our character gets out. I also wonder what happened with our character. Like, why are they in their house? Because there is, like, mentions between Basil and, and Aubrey and even Cal going, oh, it's like, you know, you're finally outside. Like, I finally get to see you. Uh, there was also something that happened to Basil at the end there where Basil was having a panic attack in the bathroom. Uh, and then Cal, our character was like, I don't know what that is about. But uh, I also appreciated that in the real world, the stakes weren't as great in battles. Like, you know, the stakes were like very low. There were children's battles and that there was still a way around the story. I do wonder what happens if you win. Like, is it the other character is going to go? Oh, I, I don't know anything about that. Like, I, I can only tell you where that uh, Kim and Vance might know where they are. Um, so like, if, I wonder if it's like a scripted event or do you get to know where Aubrey is and also if you can wait for Aubrey instead of confronting her in a church because you do feel bad what happens in that scene with her and uh, you kind of like sympathize with her for a bit it also gives like in a different context as to what the other world is like the imaginary context after you find out what certain things happen and my question to you is this um if you answered the door. Do you like exploring the other world? Like, you know, like uh, when you open it for Kel, did you not open the door? And why so? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for joining me again today. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. Until the next Pantry episode, always take care. Bye.